Jasper Johns was born in Allendale, South Carolina, 1930. The style of art Jasper Johns worked with was pop art. Pop art means common everyday objects to portray elements of popular culture, primarily images in advertising and television. Three other artists who work with pop art is one, Andy Warhol. Andy Warhol's paintings were mainly with different colors. Another one, it's Alex Katz. He mainly did pictures of people. And the last one is Dennis Hopper. Dennis Hopper liked to paint pictures of himself. One interesting fact about Jasper Johns was that in 1559, at an auction, he once sold a painting for $80 million. Jasper Johns had two famous quotes. The first one was, do something, do something to that, and then do something to that. The other famous quote was, as one gets older, one sees many more paths that could be taken. Artists sense within their own work that kind of swelling possibilities which may seem a freedom or confusion. One painting Jasper Johns made in the 1960s was Target, black camouflage version. It, as you know, it was made in the 1960s. It was made out of oil and collage on paper. Its size was 39.1 centimeters by 39.1 centimeters. It was located in New York City. Another painting Jasper Johns made was painting with numbers. It was made in 1958 through 1959. It was made out of encaustic and newspaper on canvas. Its size was 66 and a half inches by 49 and a half inches. Its location was Albright Knox Art Gallery in Buffalo. The last painting was called False Start. It was made in 1959 made out of oil on canvas, and its size was 67 and one fourth of an inch by 54 inches. It didn't exactly have a location, but it had owners. The owners were Kenneth and Ann Griffin. They lived in New York City. They bought the painting from Jasper Johns in 1959 for $10 million. Jasper Johns isn't dead. He's currently 82 years old and is living a happy life. Last year, in 2011, President Obama gave Jasper Johns a gold medal for retiring. He said he would miss his work.